an absolute massive point when you're cutting is you have to stay hydrated. Now, <clears throat> found it fascinating. I went to the hospital the other day and I noticed on the way in and out, um, haven't really before for some reason, but my sister went to hospital uh, with something. But um, everyone's on a drip. Now, why is that? Now, the statistics show that at least 90% of the population is dehydrated. So the first thing they do when you get put into hospital, most of the time, is they actually put you into a drip. Now, why? Because we're made up of about 70% water and salt, or electrolytes, we need this fluid to keep everything conductive. All right, so it's the only way things actually work properly. All right, so not only for medication and when you're in a hospital, that's when they try to get you better, which is almost stupid because it's like the last case um, and maybe why you've ended up there, or who knows. But it's the exact same when you're dieting uh, or on any diet for that matter. You want your nutrition to work properly. All right, so to get the most effective fat burn and the most efficiency out of your own body stay hydrated all right so i'm actually using amino last this is why my water is a bit pinkish purplish but uh, there's about maybe 10 calories in this whole thing 2.2 liters um, if you're going to be drinking aminos all day try fit in some plain water here and there um, but yeah this amino last does have some electrolytes in it uh, and bcaas uh, it's a really important to spare muscle and pretty much add to the building effect or the pretty much building blocks uh, to the muscle just help you recover a lot faster especially when you're in a deficit of calories all right so your muscles aren't going to be repairing as quick all right so you need to get the best sources um, of reparation which is amino acids all right amino acids are pretty much a broken down form of protein all right so you're making it easy for your body uh, but by all means you still need to get your proteins in like your chicken things that you eat all right. Water, stay hydrated. Should probably tell you what you need to drink, huh? That'd be a good one. Now, one liter per 25 kilos of body mass. So if you're 200 kilos, that's eight liters. If you're 100 kilos, that's four liters. And I, don't, I haven't heard of anyone that's 200 kilos, but I'm just trying to make a point. If you're 75 kilos, three liters. 50 kilos, two liters. All right, so that's absolutely bare minimum. That's without you doing any exercise and any exercise that you do on top of that, drink more water. Oh yeah. Man, this is such a good smoothie. Raspberries, blueberries, banana, a bit of muesli mix, gluten free of course. And, uh, honey. What else is in there? Uh, damn good though. So, all that. It's definitely going to fill me up the next two hours or so, and especially a nice uh, carb hit before my workout, which is at three. And my good old chicken and sweet potato. I don't know why, but <clears throat> I don't get bored of chicken and sweet potato, and especially, especially with my good friend Dow's yum powder. This is the bee's knees when it comes to bloody seasoning. You have to check it out. We do stock it at Hammer Fitness. Or contact Daryl on Facebook and order that stuff. It is a dieting saviour. You know, when you've got nothing else to go to, like your oils and stuff, jump on that seasoning. This flavour is pizza. Man, so good. Finally got my chromium in the mail. It's by Herbs of Gold, but <clears throat> pretty much any chromium will be totally fine. And even in some fat burners, it will be included. Bit of a rarity, but yeah. So, chromium pretty much helps you assist your insulin levels, that spike and drop that you don't want, especially when you're cutting. If you get that uh, drop, you're going to be hungry and scouring for that food uh, that you can't have, unless you want to stuff your diet up. So, this pretty much keeps your insulin levels nice and steady. So instead of spiking, dropping, it's nice and cruisy. So you're not, yeah, like I said, scaring for that food. Plus, it also helps out uh, metabolize carbohydrates and pretty much assists those carbs into your muscles instead of being able to burn, uh, sorry, store as fat. All right, so when your insulin levels go up, 
you can pretty much have a possibility of storing fat so this is going to help you not do that so i did my ab session this morning alongside my skipping and cardio so i'm going to run around the block to 1.2k my abs are so sore <laughs> the point i'm trying to prove here is whatever you change in your training or your diet it's gonna be hard uh, so my abs are obviously just adjusting that's the way i look at it all right, so all it's doing is adjusting. It's letting you know that you slacked off on whatever you weren't doing. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm going to be feeling uh, definitely very sore for the first week, especially doing abs every day. All right, no matter what, don't let yourself slip up. But yeah, it's even hard for me. Um, so if it is hard for you, don't be discouraged. Just keep pushing through it. Your body will adapt. Uh, you will get better. That's what the body uh, does. Right? So the body is very, very clever and it's very capable of anything you throw at it uh, to give it your best. Something quite funny starts happening when you stick to your diet 100%, you don't uh, overindulge or you don't indulge at all, or you don't have sugars or the foods that you're not supposed to be having, you don't go over your calories and you don't eat at the wrong times. If you stick to it 100%, you'll almost be hanging for that cracker that you thought was absolutely boring or those nuts that you thought were just completely bland. Honestly, your taste buds change accordingly. You'll eat those nuts or that rice cracker like it is your favorite food in the world. All right? If it's lunchtime and you get your cracker or nuts at 4 p.m., you're just hanging for it to touch your taste buds. It's actually quite weird and a lot of people go into a diet thinking oh, it's going to be absolutely crap. The only thing that's going to hinder your results or hinder those taste buds from changing is if you stuff the diet up and you treat yourself to something you shouldn't be having or you overindulge in too many calories or you have that sugary hit because then your taste buds are just going to be looking for or you're just going to be looking for that next hit. All right, if everything's completely healthy. Um, and completely what you should be having so your insulin isn't going too high you're not getting those bursts of energy your body's not going to be hoping uh, for those hits all right? you're just going to be looking for the next best thing which is those nuts or crackers which to someone that overindulges or overeats may think is boring but if you want the results or not because let me tell you you're going to look forward to those nuts they're going to be heaven on earth all right? so that's what I'm trying to get at don't think of it too bad it is actually amazing when it starts happening. You'll actually enjoy yourself and you'll get the results. Win-win. Okay, so I know this is kind of a lazy way of getting the egg whites in the pack, but you know, it's convenient for me and I get home at like 9.30, you've got to go to bed by 10, so you know, I don't want to be sitting there just getting the egg whites from the eggs, but this is my dinner. Pretty much one egg and eight egg whites. And these frozen veggies, which I have about 250 grams. Uh, it's all my fiber, um, and pretty much it's going to fill me up for the rest or well, throughout the night while I'm sleeping. And there's my protein as well. So, protein, fats, fibrous carbs. All right, so, keeping insulin at the lowest point, we're going to be burning heaps of fat. This is what we want. Boom. Woo! Doesn't that look good? Oh yeah, there's my egg whites and my one egg. So the reason I have the one egg, oh, and my tea, my peppermint tea, helps you sleep, it's really good. And especially helps settle your stomach as well while you're sleeping, which is awesome. My veggies are on the boil at the moment. But, back to that one egg. So the one egg has that one yolk, all right, those fats, contains cholesterol, which is actually going to help elevate or keep your testosterone at its highest. Now this is important to burn fat, build muscle, whatever it is. But in our case, for burning fat, you want your testosterone higher. And just that little tip is going to help you do that. All right, so just one egg before you go to bed, but just make sure that you calculate those calories because it does contain fat, the calories are higher. In an average egg, it's got about three grams of fat. All right, so, and about six grams of protein. So all in all, not too bad, but just accommodate. Yeah. Video editing, and I have my pre-workout meal, the chicken broccoli, and my five rice crackers, I already ate one. But, that's so boring. You wanna get shredded or what? And, you can pretty much 
accommodate for any sauces that you may want, like low calorie sauces, tomato sauce is pretty good uh, if you get the real stuff. And just any seasonings, just uh, try to keep the sodium as low as you can, but just spice things up, try different things. Different foods are going to taste different. There's so many different ways to flavor your food up without the calories. Right? Just do some researching. And these rice crackers, uh, the salt and vinegar. Uh, so I'm not particularly looking at my sodium too thoroughly. Um, if I wanted to get down to really, really dry, lean, that's when I have a look at my sodium and potassium. But for now, I'm just trying to burn the fat. All right? So keep that in mind. Your cardio goes up so quick. So easy versus uh, weight training and trying to build muscle and trying to build strength. So yeah, it does build up very easy, but yeah, you lose it very quickly at the same time. So I just want to give you guys a quick tip. Got my smoothie, which is exact on my diet, and then I've got my porridge here, which isn't on my diet, uh, except for the morning. But I just ran out of sweet potato that uh, I was supposed to have with my chicken. I already had the chicken, which was 60 grams of chicken. Because I ran out of my sweet potato, I had to alternatively compensate with my gluten-free porridge. Right? So the thing with this is you want to match the calories up. So you want the exact calories to be the same. If this focuses. Now it's 135. I had 200 gram of sweet potato, which is about 180 calories. Right? So now I've got 175 calories with 45 grams of porridge. Right? And I've put in... Um, a bit of honey that was supposed to go in my shake just to make it a little bit sweeter um, as for the protein content it's actually a little bit higher carbs are down a little bit uh, but yeah not by much as long as you can match the macros to your best you don't actually have to have exactly what you put down um, it's the macros accounts and they're both low GI that's important as well when it comes to carbohydrates all right so my gluten-free porridge is low GI and the sweet potato, low GI. Bang, win. The last carb build meal for today. <clears throat> Everyone after 3 p.m. Look out. Maybe a teeny tiny bit hangry. Alrighty guys, week two down. And now I'm actually down four kilos and another one percent which i'm absolutely wrapped about so i haven't got maybe closer to my abs I'm a bit bloated today because i had a big breakfast but uh yeah pumps are really good i mean obviously you can see the muscles a lot more when you're hitting the gym i feel so much better from the food i'm having i'm not having obviously too much even when i'm lean bulking um i do feel a little bit run down but when I hit the cardio in the morning, I just feel absolutely amazing. And pretty much after I eat is when I pretty much get uh, my little ups and downs and maybe food cravings. But from about 3 p.m. onwards when I don't have any carbs, yeah, I get a little bit tired and then the fat burning or the fat uh, metabolization kicks in and you feel absolutely amazing. All right, and then I hit my cardio in the morning and I feel super, super awake, no coffee, no nothing. All that cardio is fasted and I feel sick. All right, so four kilos down, two weeks. All right, I hope you guys are staying on track. And again, if you guys have any questions whatsoever, please feel free to ask. Super pumped with the results so far, four kilos down. And I guess where we left off, I've only got another seven to go to get off the weight that I put on by eating the healthy food. All right, so times and everything, hope you got that. Uh, in check. So I hope I was able to clarify a few things to make sure that you take on board the next time you want to lose weight. All right, so this is only two weeks and remember the time frame is crucial. All right, so that's another thing that's actually pushing me through. And I've got one more thing as well. It's pretty much a joint log uh, in this weigh-in. What I want you to do is the next time you go on a cutting log, if you're daring enough to, is publicize it, all right? So it doesn't have to be on social media, even if it's just to, I don't know, your mum, dad, friends, um, any family, any friends or family. But if you wanted to crank it up a step further, I dare you to post it up on social media. Say, I'm going to lose X amount in X amount of time. 
All right? Nothing is going to push you more than you having accountability because you've actually said to someone or an audience that you're actually going to lose that weight. All right? so it's pretty much the exact same for me, but I've been pretty much doing it anyway because I'm running my own business about health and fitness, so you'd think I should know how to put on weight and lose it again. All right, so another reason why I really wanna do this for you guys and really show you the tips, tricks, and everything in between to make sure that you get the dream body that you deserve. All right, so have a crack, really try that. Um, stay tuned for the next lot of videos to make sure that you get all the tips, all right? Heaps more to come, I'll see you guys in the next video. Hope you liked the video guys, jump across to our YouTube channel and give that a subscribe to keep up to date on our weekly motivation and tips to help you on your weight loss journey. Also take a look at the videos down below for some humor, some laughs and some free workouts and more motivation. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next video.